Okay, this one's not going to be very long. It's going to be pretty quick. It's uh, Star Nursery. And what I have... Oh, let me grab my voiceovers real quick. Let me grab my voiceovers real quick. Um, delivered. All right, let's throw this into my downloads folder. Oh, and I need to reply to this email real quick. Okay. So I've got this. Let me swap screens real quick. And what I'm going to do is 916. Let's do another one. 925. Not a new project. A new event. No, that's a new folder. Let's get rid of this folder. All right, in here I need this. Now, this is kind of a cool project. I actually did most of the work for the template before, and now I'm, I just kind of fill in the template. So what I have is I've got this clip. It's not letting me scrub it. So I have this clip here, and then I've got this clip here, which is the same thing, but it's it's in English, and it has all the information. And I'll show you what I do with that. And then I have this right here, which is the audio portion. Why is that blue? Whatever. Okay. It's probably in a folder. Red? Eh, whatever. All right. Let's go ahead and swap again. Oh, wait. Here, let me show you how I do the template. So that's the one with the frog. So it's going to be this one, decorative rock. Okay. So I'm going to duplicate this project. And I'm going to, it's this one here, SP1. And I'm going to grab it and I'm going to drop it here in 925. And I'm going to change the name. So here's the name. I'm going to use this name. I'll put star nursery dash. There's the name. SP 1.0. All right. And the reason I do all that, star nursery lets me know who the client is. And I can send huge file names. It's no big deal. This is the ISCII that the client is using or the advertising agency is using. And then I just designate that it's in Spanish and it's my first version. If they decide, oh, we want to change the color of this, then I make a version 1.1. If they say, well, we want to completely change the voiceover because we, like, we don't like the way he sounds, version 2.0. All right, so I've got that. I've got these three items and I'm going to use a combination of these three items and I'll tell you which one I'm using. Actually, what I'll do is let's let's just show my events on the main window. And let's let's hide the viewer. All right. So, I have this open. And it's roundup. Now, you'll notice when we get to this point here, that's not roundup. Which is okay. Okay, this stuff here is going to stay exactly the same. None of it's going to change. What's going to change is is the voice after he says, Dale a tu jardín personalidad. Dale personalidad a tu jardín. Tu jardín. I was going to change that. I don't know why I didn't. 
permitas que las plagas arruinen tu jardín. Obtén un galón de pesticida Bayer a $7.99 cada uno. Okay, let's cut this out right here. All right, here's the voice. Okay, it doesn't fit. So I'm just going to stick it there and I'm going to compress it. Sorry, guys. Wow, that's fast. It's going to sound awful. Jardín, ahora mismo mata y prever las malas hierbas con Roundup. Listo para usar. Un galón de botella a solo $9.99 cada una. Star Nursery. That'll work. It actually doesn't sound too bad. I wonder if there's another one that's shorter. No, that one's longer. Okay, we'll leave it like that. And let's take the settings from this because it's from the same company, even though it's a different guy. It's a little loud. Let's go down to three. Still a little loud, too. And I think this music's a bit loud. Las cosas. Dale personalidad a tu jardín. Ahora mismo mata y prevé las malas hierbas con Roundup. Listo para usar. Un galón de botella a solo $9.99 cada una. Star Nursery. I know what I need to do. Ahora mismo. Okay, let's take this back to 100%. It just sounds goofy. I, I don't like the way it sounds. So I'm going to have to cut some words. Mata y prevé las malas hierbas con Roundup. Listo para... Listo para usar. Right here. Let's get rid of that. It still isn't short enough, but at least I can do something like um, 104. <laughs> So might make it fit. Jardín, ahora mismo mata y prevé las malas hierbas con Roundup. Un galón de botella a solo $9.99 cada una. Star Nursery. Kind of cuts into them just a bit, but... Um... <laughs> All right, let's leave it like that. It's going to kind of overlap a bit. Perfect. That's about as good as I can get it. Sounds a little strange because of the speed up, but I think we'll live. It'll be fine. Okay, now here's the thing. All of this stuff. It's not the right stuff. So what I need to do is take that piece out of here. I'm just going to grab this and drop it in here. And replace from start. Uh, let's go right to the beginning of this. It's doing that because it wants. Yeah, we'll start right there. It, it says there's not enough media from where I'm starting. All right. So now you can see that my titles don't line up. And that's this is what I'm going for. All right. So they say roundup. Let's make it, let's make all of these invisible for a bit. All right, so they spell Roundup with a dash. And I can go in here to the video and move it around. It doesn't have to match exactly, but I want to be I want it to be somewhat close. Round up. Oh, 
Hold on. And we see that. That'll work. Yes, I used Google Translate. Sorry. Sometimes it helps me out. Helps me pick better words than just mata de mala hierba. It didn't sound right. It sounded horrible. <laughs> Let's put it right here with this. I can probably go a bit bigger. I kind of want it to line up with the D, but let's do this. My tracking is low. And that means my size here is a bit high because I don't want it to cover up this. And that means I can move this up a bit. Back and up. It actually matches up really well. Check that out. And we see the. I only want it to line up with the D. I'm not too worried about the rest of it. So let's bring it back a bit. And let's make it a bit bigger. I want to change. Oh. Whoops. All right. RT one gallon. That's ready to use. Ah, what did I do on the last one? Yeah. Let's look at here. I've got Bayer Pest Control. Same exact thing. I put RTU one gallon. Okay, that's fine. R2, one gallon. And we can make that bigger. And put it in place. Now, a lot of times your titles, when you try to move the position or, or transform, it will move the entire screen. And the reason is, because some of the titles, when you open them up in motion, will have the drop zone for the title layer or for the video layer. And when you have that, anytime you do these maneuvers, it maneuvers the entire title. If you don't have it, if it's transparent and there's that layer is not there, then it will move this all around without moving the background. And that's how I'm able to do this. And a lot of the built-in titles are okay. They won't have that background. But a lot of the ones when you go in to make, it, make them yourself using motion, it will automatically put that background there. So if you, if you want to have this ability to use a transform without messing up everything, make sure you, um, make sure you remove that, that background layer. Oh, yeah, I need this up on top because it says 999 because it has a movement in it.
All right. Okay, we have this little keyframe issue here. So negative 286. So I'm going to delete that, go to the keyframe, say negative 286. Go here to that keyframe and then back, negative 286. All right, so that's good. That's fine. I know it looks a little strange, but. And this poor tonelada can leave. Tiempo limitado. Right here. Right there. Let's bring it back some. Let's make it line up with the nine. That'll work. Okay, now let me explain what's going on. There's all these different layers, which is fine. Um, and you saw me maneuvering them around. The reason I'm doing this is because it's a lot easier than trying to make a whole motion template every single time I want to um, make this piece. So even though it seems like a lot, I'm, I'm doing it so I can move each piece around separately, and it, and it works. Now, this tiempo limitado... I actually should put it near the bottom. Um, or what I should do is put 999 up here on the top. And then let's copy that and paste them there. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, now what's going to happen here is this particular filter that I'm using or this particular transition is a light transition. I'll show you which one it is. Whoops, wrong ones. Transitions. Give me that. Lights. It is flash. Basically what it does is it comes up and goes to white and then comes back like a camera flash in a way. Now, if I put it up at the top, it will go to white over all of the other layers. If I put it down here, you'll see all these layers here. So let's say I were to grab this and drop it here instead. So watch what happens. Let's say I were to bring this back. As it's going, the stuff doesn't disappear, and it just suddenly comes up. And it looks weird. So the hardine and all that is still there, and then all of a sudden it switches? No, we're not doing that. So let's do it this way. And it makes it look like everything fades away and comes back up. Now I've got double white stuff there. So what I'm going to do is find the beginning of that clip here. Mark it in. And now I'm going to throw it here. Now, one issue that they have is they tend to switch back to that too soon. So, 18. Thirteen twenty-eight. All right, 1328 to 803. Check out this little tool I got. So 525, that's how long I need it to be. So what I'm going to do is trim it back. And I'll use these to trim it back. There we go. And now I'm going to retime. And as I retime, I'm going to go to custom. And I'm going to do duration 525 okay now the other thing i like to do is just a regular slowdown if i do 50 percent or 75 percent it usually looks okay 
But if I do anything that's different, I like to go to video quality and change it to optical flow. It tends to look a lot nicer and smoother and looks like I didn't do anything to it. And actually this clip right here was done with the optical flow and you can, you can hardly tell it's been slowed down. Okay, so we're done. So let's go ahead and render this. Come on, let's render it all. Render it all. Takes a little bit of time on this. Oh, the other thing I need to do while I'm here. Um, I'm going to lift this from the storyline just to make it smaller. It shouldn't affect the rendering, but it, it did stop it. But it shouldn't affect any of the clips that are rendered because it's nothing different. All right, let's check it out. Caduca. Perenne. Muchachos, hay suficiente lugar para los dos. Hagan la paz. Entonces así van a hacer las cosas. Dale personalidad a tu jardín. Ahora mismo mata y prevé las malas hierbas con Roundup. Un galón de botella a solo $9.99 cada una. Star Nursery. It's not the greatest because it works really well in English. It's it's funny and it and the timing's good. In Spanish, it takes a little bit longer to say the same thing as you would say in English. So if I wanted to say, well, no, I'm not going to give examples. Forget that. Okay, so this is done. So now I'm going to export it and send it out. Remember, I always export using the XDCAM HD because that's how I'm going to, that's how it's going to air. Okay, and then after I'm done exporting it, I can press it, and I send it out to everybody. All right, so that was that. It's just a real quick template spot, kind of a cookie cutter type thing. Um, not too difficult. All right, thank you very much for watching.